here at the Stroke Center, we use what we call multimodal imaging, which is beyond just the basic CAT scan or even a basic MRI, to really get a lot more information about the patient. The goal is to save the most brain tissue we can when somebody walks in the door. Until now, it's been very hard to really quantify the volume of tissue that's dead or potentially going to die. So this gives us an idea of the risk-reward versus the procedure. This is a type of scan that's called a diffusion-weighted scan. So this was a patient who came in with some damage to the left hemisphere. And this really shows us what's already been irreversibly injured, about what is potentially salvageable. This is our bolus perfusion imaging, which was developed here at Stanford. It's pretty rapid information and gives us more information than just looking at the diffusion itself. What this scale here shows is actually time in seconds. The warmer the color, the longer that it's taking the dye to reach each individual voxel of tissue. And what that means is that the flow to that chunk of brain is delayed because there is that blood clot there. And that's the type of information that you really couldn't get from looking at a routine CAT scan. So the perfusion imaging really gives us a whole different level of detail and really helps us move away from just using a, a clock on the wall to really using a, a biological or tissue clock to make decisions about the management of our patients. The more information we can have more quickly, the better we are at triaging people to the right therapy. So one of the things that we work very hard on is streamlining the process to get people into the MRI scanner quickly, to perform the scans very quickly. We're one of the few hospitals in the country that really has put a lot of work into acute MR 24-7 for all stroke patients.